Hello, today we're making an elevator comes into live footage. To do that, we need two things, footage and an HDR image. Now, if you want to follow along, I provided both in the description below. Uh, it's already an image sequence, so we can dive right into cinema. In cinema, hit Ctrl D to go to project settings and make sure your frame rate and length matches the image sequence. Then go to motion tracker and add a motion tracker. Go to footage, select the first image of your sequence and open it. Then go to 2D tracking and create auto tracks. Then hit auto track. Cinema will now process the frames and when finished, you might notice the tracks disappear when scrolling through your footage. Now every time they're almost gone, just create some more tracks. Then hit auto track again and finally the whole scene will be tracked. Now scroll through your footage and check your markers. If it's alright, then go to 3D solve and click 3D solver. When that's done, you see in the object window that Cinema created a camera and added all the tracking points to the tracker. When you leave the camera by clicking on the white thingy there, you will be in the default camera. In the viewport, you will now see the camera and the tracking points, and you'll notice it isn't exactly in the middle of the scene. So to fix that, right click on the motion tracker and go to motion tracker tags and add a planner constraint. Go back into the motion tracker camera and drag the black dots of the triangle to the three motion tracker points that are closest to the spot where you want to add an object in your scene. Make sure these tracking points are green as it indicates the quality of the track. Also make sure these points are on a flat plane. Now go back into the default camera. If it doesn't work, just uh, deselect the motion tracker and select an axis. You see the tracking points jump orientations, so select the one that orientates the dots flat on the ground. Now go back into the motion tracker camera, right click on the motion tracker again, Go to Motion Tracker Tags and add a position constraint. Drag the circle to one of the green tracking points within the triangle. Now, that's it. The Motion Tracker is orientated correctly. It's right in the middle of the world. So now let's create a background object. Go to the Motion Tracker, Footage and click Create a Background Object. And boom! Cinema automatically created a material and a background that you now can use for a reference. So let's make an object to put in our scene. I like to work with a clean object panel, so let's hide the motion tracker objects for now. Go to layer, right click, new layer. Drag all the motion tracking objects into the layer and then hide them by clicking the icons for object panel, render and viewport. And let's rename the layer to tracker, otherwise Ben Marriott will be mad. Oh, and be sure you are in the default camera. And finally, let's make an elevator. Create a cube and name it shaft. Go back to attributes, coordinates, and it's minus 100 for the y-axis. Make it editable by hitting C, select the top polygon, and delete it. Shaft is done. Create another cube. Call it elevator. Make the y size 2 cm and move it to y minus 200. So the elevator is done. Create a cube and call it door. Make the Y size 10 and the C size 100. Move it to Y minus 5 and C 50. Now let's animate the door. Go to 2 seconds and keyframe the Y position. Go to 2.5 seconds and move it to minus 15. Then go to 3 seconds and keyframe the C position. Go to 5 seconds and move the C to 150. Let's see how this looks. So go to Window Timeline F Curve to open the Curve Editor. Make the curve of the C animation a little bit steeper. Navigate the Curve Editor by using the numbers 1, 2, 3 on your keyboard, like in the viewport. Now check the animation again and oh yeah, that looks fine. Create a null object and make the door a child of it. Copy the null and rotate it 180 degrees. Now you have two doors. Now animate the elevator by keyframing the Y position, so the final position is minus 2 or 3. And now edit the curve to make it a little bit less boring. Now to cover all this up, because the outside of the shaft and the open doors will be underground, uh, we create a shadow catcher that will also function as a mat. Create a cube, create a plane and create a ball. Make the cube and plane a child of the ball, so that there is a hole. Now make the plane a little bit bigger, like 1000 by 1000. Now create a shader, shadow catcher, and drag the material to the math object, and boom, the setup is done. 
Now, you can make this as nice as you want, and you should, but this is my basic setup for an elevator. Let's put all the objects inside a null and name it elevator. Also put the elevator in its own layer. And while you're at it, let's enjoy the tracker objects. Go into the tracker camera and fine tune the position and size of the elevator. So in my case, I want it to line up with the tiles on the ground. So, oh yeah, make sure to change the size in the coordinates panel, otherwise it will mess up the animation. So that's it for part one. In part two, we will set up the materials and do the lighting with HDR. Also, we comp it together in After Effects. Now, for now, uh, any questions, please uh, state them in the comments section. Um, if you don't want to miss part two, then of course, hit subscribe and ring the bell. For now, bye-bye.